are listening to an audio article by the Common Constitution. Today's article is entitled, Beginning to Worry About the Safety of the President. At virtually every one of the countless rallies he has given in various states, there has been at least one, if not a number of loud, obnoxious protesters screaming at Trump while he speaks. So angry are these people that from across the venue you can see the veins popping on their foreheads. Now, they may be getting paid by some leftist pack to act this way, but they also may just be this angry. And as we've seen on a number of occasions, these unhinged leftists are indeed just this angry. And at more than a few of his rallies, the president has said, quote, How did he, or she, get in here? Unquote. How indeed. Now, one has to assume that these people are screened for contraband and weapons prior to gaining entry, but we know security can't be right 100% of the time. So this begs the question, would any of these lunatic protesters be unbalanced enough to attempt to harm the president? Would they, like jihadists, be willing to sacrifice themselves for their psychotic cause? Well, who knows? But what we do know is that the left is exhibiting behavior that causes many, me included, to begin to worry just how far they will go. To date, there are too many examples of disturbing behavior to reasonably compile. I chronicled just two of these most recent incidences in an article I wrote just days ago, and these were just two regular Trump supporters. But the less outrage over Trump has begun to spill over into the political class. Republican politicians are being threatened and attacked by maniacal leftist lunatics. Republican Senator Susan Collins, not exactly a Trump supporter, revealed some of the vile and disturbing phone calls and voicemail messages she received regarding even her potential support of Trump's latest Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh. And she hasn't even revealed her decision yet. Quote, We've had some very abusive callers. We've had some very vulgar calls and sort of harassing the staff. Unquote, Steve Abbott, Collins' chief of staff, told a main TV station. Quote, One caller, according to the Times, told a 25-year-old staffer that he hoped that she was raped and impregnated. Unquote. Real classy. Going beyond just threats, on Sunday last, an unhinged leftist attempted to stab a Republican congressional candidate in California. Quote, according to police and media reports, Mr. Farzad Fazeli, 35, he's the unhinged leftist, was arrested after attempting to stab Republican congressional candidate Randy Peters with a switchblade in Castro, California, unquote. Thankfully, the blade didn't deploy. And don't forget what happened to Republicans Rand Paul and Steve Scalise. Now, if something doesn't change, I fear we're going to be in trouble. If Democrat political and cultural leaders don't start reining in the rhetoric and ask their supporters to do the same, then it's just a matter of time before there will be an attempt at violence directed at President Trump. Now, many would say that this is just a scare tactic and needless hyperbole, but I don't think so. This is the way this kind of behavior progresses. It starts out as mere protests and marches, mostly peaceful. But little by little, as these leftists see their ridiculous demands are not met, like Trump being led away in chains, the protests descend into threats and violence. I agree with what Mark Levin said on his radio show the other night. I, too, am worried about the safety and security of the president. Thank you for listening.